Simon Lancaster, Winning Minds, Secrets from the Language of Leadership Prepare to embark on a journey to unlock the secrets of the T language of leadership. This summary of Winning Minds by Simon Lancaster delves deep into the human brain to reveal the three components critical to comprehending effective communication, the instinctive, the emotional, and the logical brain. Discover how you can engage all three elements to become a true leader using proven rhetorical devices such as metaphors, stories, and persuasive tactics to captivate and connect with your audience. Learn the secrets behind how great leaders communicate their message clearly, inspire their followers, and command respect. The Secret Language of Leadership Effective leadership requires excellent communication skills, which can be difficult since the brain has three distinct parts, each with its own way of interpreting the world. Persuading the instinctive, emotional, and logical brains is necessary for successful leadership. There is a secret language of leadership that involves physical, verbal, and vocal cues that have been used for thousands of years in business and politics. The instinctive brain scans the environment for potential danger, while the emotional brain secretes chemicals that affect behavior. The logical brain discerns logical ideas but struggles with separating them from those that only appear logical. Ultimately, Great communication is the key to great leadership. Engaging the instinctive brain. Leaders who appeal to their audience's instinctive brain can captivate their listeners. Neuroscientists have discovered that the brain processes both the meaning and the emotions behind an argument. To engage the instinctive brain, language that appeals to primary concerns such as safety and reward should be used. Leaders who create group cohesiveness can ease fears and create a sense of closeness and connection amongst their audience by secreting oxytocin. By understanding these principles, leaders can captivate their audience's instinctive minds and become credible leaders. Instinctive Communication Cultivate an image of strength and safety while tailoring your message to the instinctive mind. The way you breathe and speak affects how your audience perceives you. Rapid breathing and short sentences communicate fear, while deep breathing and long sentences reassure your audience that you can handle any threat. Lower your vocal register and use pauses to convey boldness in your speech. The Power of Metaphors in Communication Metaphors can influence people's thinking, feeling, and behavior more effectively than logic-driven communication. Reframing abstract concepts into images that trigger the instinctive brain can be an effective rhetorical strategy. Metaphors are powerful tools for communication. Abstract concepts are often hard to understand, while images are easier to grasp. Metaphors can replace abstruse, theoretical forces with clarifying images. They can also provoke different responses and feelings depending on the metaphor chosen. However, Choosing the right metaphor is key. While people hold positive views on that Arab Spring, Arab Furnace, may represent the reality of the situation more accurately. Using natural world images in metaphors that stimulate the instinctive brain's desire for safety and rewards can be more effective than mechanical metaphors. Such as referring to the company as a family and a journey, inspires feelings of closeness and direction in staff. Metaphors plant ideas deep in the instinctive mind, where they take root and grow, spreading around, affecting the way people think, feel and act. Business leaders should be mindful of the metaphors they use as they influence their staff's perceptions of the company and themselves within it. Logical communication often fails as it doesn't speak to the instinctive brain. However, the use of powerful metaphors can influence thinking, feeling, and behavior more efficaciously. Targeting the Instinctive Brain The book suggests using empathy and the power of purpose to target the instinctive brain. Showing empathy toward someone's concerns can activate the secretion of serotonin and oxytocin in their brain, which strengthens the connection between listener and speaker. The power of purpose also inspires passion in people and helps them strive for a goal bigger than profits. As a leader, you must conceptualize your company's mission and communicate it to your team using metaphors and acting with purpose yourself. Your passion can trigger the release of dopamine and oxytocin, 
pumping up others' commitment. Emotional Connection Great leaders, like Churchill and King, connected with their audience's emotional brain to promote enthusiasm for their ideas. To win over the emotional brain, rhetorical devices such as storytelling must be used to stimulate the brain's reward system. Even recounting historical events prompts the listener's brain to respond as if the events are real, releasing the same chemicals as reality. By connecting emotionally with listeners, speakers can inspire their audience to engage with their ideas and face societal challenges. The Power of Storytelling In The Power of Storytelling, the author discusses how stories can elicit certain chemical reactions in the brain. Oxytocin is released when we connect with a vivid character, cortisol is triggered by conflict, and dopamine is the reward for resolution. By crafting a story from personal experiences or historical events and introducing relatable characters, storytellers can engage their audience and promote insight. By linking the insight to the chemical reward, the story becomes memorable. The key to effective storytelling is to make the character's world come alive through sensory details while facing a painful conflict that is resolved with gained insight. The Power of Emotional Communication Emotions play a crucial role in effective communication, and certain rhetorical devices help to stir the emotional brain. Repetition, praise, and resonant words are three effective ways to engage with your audience and convey a genuine sense of emotion. By repeating a phrase or setting up a predictable pattern, you can satisfy your listeners' expectations and increase emotional impact. Praising your team can make them feel appreciated and competent, which motivates them to perform better. When selecting words for communication, use emotional and vivid words instead of buzzwords or technical terms. Personal pronouns such as we, you, and I also help to create connection and involvement with your audience. By utilizing these techniques, you can become a more effective communicator and fulfill your followers' needs. Persuasion with Style To appeal to the logical brain, one must present substance with style, weaving patterns into the argument through the use of devices such as the rule of three, balance, rhyme, and perspective. The left side of the brain analyzes the meaning of words while the right side enjoys the music of rhetorical devices. Using the rule of three creates a perception of comprehensiveness, confidence, and faith. Balance helps to present an argument even-handedly, using alliteration to imply balance between ideas. Rhyming arguments are more persuasive, making them effective in advertising slogans. Finally, shifting people's perspective to align with a general overview will make it difficult for them to stop agreeing, thus proving a useful strategy for persuasive arguments. Climbing the Persuasion Ladder Persuasion is a step-by-step -step process that involves tactics at different levels of the brain. Start with empathy or metaphors to appeal to the instinctive level. Move on to emotional tactics by boosting confidence and connection. Finally, appeal to the logical brain by offering performance goals. The key to persuasion is providing for people's needs, whether it's safety, connection, or self-esteem. This is exemplified by Starbucks' mission, one person, one cup, one neighborhood. Understanding and fulfilling these needs will ultimately lead to winning support. Remember, a great smile can be the making of a great leader. As we conclude, we gain insightful knowledge into the parallels between great leadership and great communication. Winning Minds teaches us to engage with each aspect of the human brain through a combination of instinctive, emotional, and logical communication strategies. By focusing on fostering a group's sense of safety and rewards, using rhetorical devices like metaphors, and presenting facts with style and substance, you can successfully capture your audience's attention and form lasting connections. The journey of mastering the language of leadership unravels a pathway towards becoming a persuasive and effective leader, and this summary encapsulates the key takeaways to begin paving your way to success.